Hey y'all, welcome to Faith Budgets. On this channel, I'll be posting videos about how we use the zero-based budget, sinking funds, cash stuffing, and savings challenges to pay off debt and save at the same time. If that's content that you're interested in, then please keep watching and definitely hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey to financial freedom. Hey y'all, welcome to another video. We're going to do a, a cash planning, a budgeting video today. Budget with me and also some cash planning to get ready to stuff some um, variable spending in my wallet and also sinking funds. So this is the process that I do every payday. This is our payday routine. We get paid weekly. So uh, first I'll map it out for the whole month and then I break it down into weekly planning. So first you plan for the whole month in my planner and then as each paycheck comes in you get I get more specific as to the exact amounts that I will be applying to my sinking funds. The bills are always the same. You know, they vary maybe just a tad, but they're they're always going to be the same. What what I usually have to work on and change and tweak a little bit each paycheck depending on if we have overtime is the uh, sinking funds and that changes each paycheck so I get paid bi-weekly and my husband gets paid bi-weekly but we're on opposite pay schedules so that makes us get paid weekly and it just makes it a little easier I guess where we're um, we used to do the two every we were both on the bi-weekly same schedule a couple years ago but I do like it better this way to be able to check back in it keeps us um keeps us a little bit more on top of things with our budget as far as checking in on our spending and tracking and things like that and then you you have a restart each week and do the do the budget and check in and make sure everything's paid and just you know all the good things that keep you uh, keep you on track so uh, let's just get started with my binder here this is uh, my budget planner from Missy Money this is an A5 binder here and this is all her uh, budget planner material here. It's a packet. You can go to her website and you can use my uh, referral code. It is faithbudgets10 and you will get a 10% discount on all her products there on her website, missymoney.com. There's a link in my descriptions. You can just click on that link. It'll take you directly to her website and check out her um, uh, shop. She has some new items on there, a digital download of this. And I did work on that a little bit tonight before I got my budget going, playing with that, getting some numbers inserted. And uh, then I just copy it down on here to, I like a paper record too, because I look at that and yeah, I can just carry this with me when I'm, if I'm not at my desk or something, I can do that if I'm, if I need to go on the go with it and work on it. But um, I just did a video with an unboxing of some Happy Mail from Missy Money where she has the, uh, her binders are on sale right now. Some of them that are less than perfect, the LTP binders, and but they look perfect to me. So <laughs> you can check out my video. I have that, I have a open, you know, open up thing up and show the binders. And I think she has 10 different colors. I have seven of those. So I do show seven of those on my, on that video. And then also on that video, I'm giving away the Budget Mom wallet. Uh, just go over and check out that video. Since I'm using Missy Money's now, I was using the Budget Moms. It's a little bit bigger wallet, so I just wanted to give that back to somebody. So just go watch that video and look at the uh, rules and everything, the instructions on how to enter for the giveaway for that and when I'll be um, doing the drawing and all that good stuff. So yeah, check out that video. I'll try to link it if I can. I don't know. I think maybe in the top right corner. I'll try to link it if I can figure that out. I don't think I've ever linked a video. I I have put it in the description, so I'll do that for sure. I know how to do that, but I'll see if I can get it to go up to the top there. Anyway, um, let's just get started in here. We're on September now, so I have the monthly already planned out. This is, I bought these little things from Amazon just to kind of keep me on easier to flip to you know you don't have to but I got September there and then each pay week sometimes we have a magic month and we have five with my husband and I both been on opposite pay uh, schedules 
we end up getting four magic months out of the year so i love those i wish we had them all the time <laughs> okay here is the monthly layout for september so i did that first i did that you know before september started so that i know i'm ready for paycheck one that's already happened so let's go to paycheck number two paycheck breakdown and cash planning and this will be for the paycheck on 9 12 and the pay period will be uh 9 2 through 9 19 and the net pay is going to be two thousand seven hundred seventy four dollars and fifteen cents but we will just do the two thousand seven hundred seventy four is what we'll be working with today um i already filled all this in because i've done all that on the computer it took me a little longer than had some interruptions and i'm just i was trying to get this in tonight i don't know if i'll be able to get it posted but um so we can get ready for payday tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow's the 12th. So if we can get ready for payday and get that money out of the bank and do our cash stuffing. So um, on our mortgage, I do half and half. I half it for each of the my two paychecks out of the month so that it is not all coming out of one. So I split that in half and I leave that in our checking account. So this will be the first one for the month that we'll be going towards our October 1st payment. So we'll take out half this paycheck and the other half will come out on September 26th. Well, it will stay in there. It will come out of the budget, but it will stay in my checking account and leave that there for the 10-1 payment. And then we have Bible study. We uh, have a place where we go and meet every other Monday or a women's Bi we have a women's Bible study class and we do that as a little kind of like a little um i think they rent out birthday parties and things there too it's an older building you know but she hated to charge us anything but she does charge like 20 dollars for the whole month and we meet two to three times a month so not bad that that secures our spot there so nobody else can have it uh we've been doing that a couple years now <sighs> okay. okay guys sorry about that i had an interruption had a phone call of course um I forgot where I was at. Uh, I think I said Bible study. Then we have internet. That's $24. Water is $60. Electric is $290. Child support is $217. Cushion is $50. And a lot of these I have on auto draft. So they already they automatically come out of my checking account. Uh, I mean automatically come. I use a credit card to pay uh, our utilities. So I get the points for that. So I'm so excited because I did get to cash in on some points for a night stay up in Knoxville. We're going there to watch football games. I think we're going to be staying overnight for three of the games. And I only had to pay $15 for our room. So I was so excited about that. <laughs> I couldn't believe I'd already uh, accumulated that many points because I'd already redeemed uh, another night stay. Oh, yeah, that was for the big games that we go to in where we play Florida and Alabama. So those are really, you know, I guess the more important games, SEC teams that we play. And then, uh, what was, oh yes, Florida and Alabama. That's the two. Those are always sellouts. And it's, uh, they, everything, all the prices usually get jacked up during that time too. So the rooms are more expensive those nights, of course. So I had got those booked early and I got to use our points for that. But now I've already accumulated and gained extra you know more points now to be able to cash in those to use for the Kentucky game whenever we go and watch Kentucky so not bad I was so excited about that so it's worth it now you know I was wondering is it worth it you know doing all this taking the extra steps to move the money around but it is it worked out pretty good it's worth that to be able to go to those ball games and not have to worry about uh, really expensive rooms and paying for that along with you know we already save up for the tickets and then we of course we go out to eat while we're there sometimes we buy some um you know souvenirs and college uh tennessee apparel <laughs> so and i see my son when we're there we usually pay for their food him and his fiance we pay you know take them out to dinner or something so you know we make a we make a good time of it so that helps us save some money for that Okay, so now that totaled up for our 
bills that will be in the bank or that will not be taken out in cash. In other words, this will be 1486 is what we'll leave in the bank to pay for that. And then we go over here to the wallet or our variable expenses. Uh, I have all these envelopes in my wallet except for the hubby there. That That is his money. I, he don't have an envelope. <laughs> so I just give him his cash and he puts it in his wallet and he spends it how he needs to. That's for everything that he needs throughout the week. His food, um, his, you know, spending money, and also he dips tobacco. So, ugh. So he gets that with that too. So that stuff's expensive. And so we have groceries is going to be 260 and gas is 200 And hopefully that's going to come down. Well, super expensive, I know. Um, we live far away. We live way out in the country. Then we have eating out 60 giving 45 shopping 40 meds 35 miscellaneous 40 kids activities 30 and then hubby 150 and speaking of leaving living out in the country you know we don't have a lot of people out here i mean we're kind of on the main road but you know you just the mailman is all, usually the only people that pull in our driveway but i got freaked out the other day i was here by myself and i was getting ready to cook supper and I had my earbuds in, probably, I don't know, I was watching Hulu or YouTube or audio, I don't know, Audible or something. I was listening to something. I have one earbud in, and then I'm getting stuff ready to, to cook supper. And at, at the kitchen sink, I look over, and there's a vehicle sitting there staring at me, two guys. And that's, you know, kind of to the back of our property. We have a circle drive, like anybody that's coming, or the mailman, or UPS, or FedEx, they come in the circle drive and come to the front door. We have a walkway to the front door. These people were over to the side of the house, like where we come into the back door and where our garage is, you know, and they were staring at me. <laughs> and it just kind of, it, it startled me, and I was here by myself, so I wasn't going to go out there. I was just going to watch, you know, make sure they didn't bother anything. But the guy gets out... <laughs> And he goes around like to the side, like going over there to my husband's shop where we have, he has equipment and things over there. So I, I was so scared, but I went out there, but I took my pistol and I had it in my pocket and everything. So, but he, he couldn't speak English. I don't know. He smelled like alcohol and you know, it kind of scared me a little bit and <laughs> I didn't really know how I couldn't communicate with him and. I think he might have been looking for the neighbor, but I don't know. We we have security system, and we played it back, and they had been sitting there probably five minutes, and he was looking around back there behind where the cameras were, were at, and he seen the camera a couple of times, and then that's when, I don't know, he, he kind of went on. But anyway, just a little scare there, so <laughs> we're actually going to go this weekend and, and practice up on my shooting and all that stuff. I hope I never have to do that but I want to feel comfortable enough with with my pistol so that I can you know defend myself if I need to so anyway it was just a little scare so a little a little craziness going on out here in the country but we take care of ourselves out here so um you know next time my husband said they'll know not to pull up in the driveway next time and pull back here in our back you know private area you know you come to the front door fine you know knock on the door or something but don't get out and start snooping around people's stuff you know you don't do that <laughs> so I don't know uh, just a little scary so I've been kind of I don't know I work from home and I'm here by myself a lot so I've kind of been a little bit more on alert about things and making sure the doors are locked and keeping an eye on things outside so just you never know in this day and time you know things that are going on everything's kind of scary anymore so anyway i got off on my little story time there sorry guys <laughs> sorry about that y'all um this is the wallet so it's going to be 860 is the total there and i have already um calcu uh, figured up the denominations that i want for each category so that i know what what cash I want to put in my envelopes. So that's 860 and I totaled all the denominations up there. And on Missy's Excel program, it does all the math for you. So that's why I went ahead and just did all that and copied it on here. So that way, whenever I'm doing my cash stuffing, I'll have this over to the side and I can reference it. And I really won't have to pull the Excel up while I'm doing 
the cash stuffing but you could do that if you wanted to as well but I'm a paper girl but then I like to double check I'm really big on double checking and I was doing like uh, the budget mom's highlighter method and I was uh, it's a, almost a little bit too much like double checking with everything so and like keeping up with uh, your percentages with how much you spend in each category but you know to get started it really did help me but I'm now kind of let, let that kind of go on autopilot I know kind of what we're spending in each category and what we need to if we need to bump it up if we need to come back on it you know just some things as we go so um, I really like the Excel program that Misty has on there and it's super duper affordable it's I think 20 bucks or less so yeah definitely go check that out it is a great program it's easy it's user friendly and you just plug in your your information plug in your numbers and you go with it so and it's laid out exactly like her uh, paycheck breakdown and her monthly planning so it, it's laid out exactly like this and you just go in there and you fill fill in the categories and fill in the numbers and it does the math for you it'll keep your calculations as you go and let you know how much you have left to allocate to the next category so uh, then we have binders and envelopes this is our sinking funds and savings we have Sam's is going to get 35 my nails are broken sorry <laughs> Sam's is going to get 35 self care 80 pet care 40 gifts 20 entertainment 40 that's anything fun travel that's when we're getting ready you know to go to the ball games and even maybe like little other weekend trips things like that memberships car tags holidays that's all holidays except for christmas then we have emergency and we have christmas see there it's by itself and this is ut tickets the university of tennessee college football season tickets that we have that's just to purchase the tickets that way i know that that money is is there when we get ready to purchase those because it's a there's a deadline you have to get it or your tickets are lost they go back into the pool for someone else and right now i think they're sold out so we definitely want to keep our spot in line for those. We get the same seats every year, too. Um, property tax is 10 So all that totals up to be 390 And here's the denominations that I wanted. So then we'll move over here now to the savings challenges. I'm starting out small here to try to make sure that I am definitely completing the 52-week challenge. But also, I have a 12-month challenge, the I Do Challenge, and the one month ahead. 12-month, I started in July, and I'm just kind of using low numbers for that to get started with that. But I will be able to contribute some to it. And then we have the I Do Challenge. My son just recently got engaged, so we are planning a wedding. And Missy has an I Do Savings Challenge. It is perfect for, for planning a wedding. So if you or someone you know is... Uh, getting married or will be or uh, or you are definitely go check that out it's super neat and it gets you prepared you know I've seen some things on there that I didn't even really know it's been years since I got married so you know things that you don't really think about to save for so definitely check that out and then we have the one month ahead I would love to get one month ahead on the the bills that we have and we can leave that in the bank each month and just you know be ready for the next one so that is a goal too but we may have to kind of put that on the back burner until we get the I do challenge complete um, they are getting married next September September 27th of 2025 they've set the date they've got the renew <laughs> renew they've got the venue reserved I already have that uh, paid for my son paid and then I'm gonna give him some money on that because I'm I'm gonna help with that and for the rehearsal dinner so that the rehearsal dinner will be at that venue so i will definitely contribute to that so that the only thing that we're putting on there is 38 dollars, but that's better than nothing and that's better than what i would have done years ago i would have never thought to even save for anything like that so it doesn't matter the amount if you just start saving just a little you know and that's why i was telling my sister the other day i was like it don't matter to put five dollars in it and just you know train yourself to do that and then you look back at that a few months later and look at that money that you had that you would not have had before so she's you know just starting out a little bit trying to get into the to the cash stuffing method but 
I don't know. She's not there yet. We're going. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm I'm nerding out on her sometimes. So we'll see. If she can, if she would like to, uh, you know, cross over to the cash budgeter side. <laughs> uh, then we have the cash planning summary here, and see on her the Excel program it does all this for you. It calculates it as you go, and so your grand total for the withdrawal is the same here, and it calculates it. Oh, it's in the of there on that it the overview down here for this summary so that the so that you have a zero based budget so you take your net pay a zero based budget is at the end of your budget not having any other money left over not saying that you have nothing in your checking account but saying that you have given every single dollar in your budget for that pay period an assignment You've told it where to go so that it doesn't just, you know, slip out or, <laughs> or you know, that's how it happens. That's how it happened to us. Uh, you have the extra money in your checking account and you're like, oh, okay, we've got extra money. We can do this or that. But just put your extra money to places where you know you want it to go. So, um, And the net pay is 2774 In the bank is going to be 1486 See, it just calculates here. And then we have the total cash withdrawal, which is for all the cash that I'm going to be taking out in all three categories. The savings challenges, the binders and envelopes, and the wallet. So that's all cash that I'm taking out and putting in our sinking funds and wallet. I'll get that out at the bank tomorrow, which, yep, reminds me of this. This is from Missy Money, my ugly fingernails. Um, it's a cash planning teller slip. You can put this... In, when you go to the bank, give it to the teller, and they'll give you the the correct denominations that you need. So, I love this little thing, and my tell, the bank tellers love it too. <laughs> when they see me or my husband coming, they they love it. They're, they're you're so organized. <laughs> I was like, no, it just helps me. It helps so much, and it, you know, it speeds the process up a little bit too for them. So. All right, so that's it, you guys. That's the paycheck breakdown and cash planning for the third, no, second paycheck in September. So next we will have the cash planning. After we go to the bank, get our money out, we'll come back and do a cash stuffing with my new binders that I got from Missy Money. And also she has envelopes that she customizes that fit perfect in there, and they are um, durable and but they're aesthetically pleasing too. They um, are like a material that will last, you know, and you can wipe them off. And they're not the laminated, um, personalized or customizable envelopes. I think I have seen several of those, you know, where they're laminated. And I try, I made some of myself, but for myself, but it's very tedious and they tend to tear up, you know, more frequently. And um, don't, may not hold up as good, but these have held up super and I love them. So definitely come back and check that video out. We'll do the cash stuffing and, uh, we'll do, yes, cash stuffing. And then I think the next one after that will be the giveaway, um, announcement, uh, for the winner. I'll check, I'll pick a winner for the budget mom wallet and announce that on the next week. So all right, so that's it. I hope everybody's having a great week, and I'll see you on the next one for the cash stuffing. Thanks.